If you're so academically brilliant that you can skip a few grades at school, surely you wouldn't have any childhood worries. Okay, now imagine being two or three years younger than everyone else in the class, and perhaps now it seems like risky business. Kialin Pele faced that for most of his school career, and as I discovered, he still got an insatiable appetite for challenges. The piano holds an irresistible attraction for many three-year-olds, but all that most of us can manage is to bang on the keys. In the case of Kialin Pele, however, an early start has led to far greater things, and music is just of many areas in which he excels. Having jumped from grade 2 to grade 5, he was just 10 when he started high school. And five years later, he matriculated with an aggregate of over 94%. He's also been playing chess since the age of 3 and has participated in an SABC3 program on gifted children. But it hasn't been a complete cakewalk either. Kialin's stellar path has involved countless hours of study and practice, not to mention an immense amount of self-discipline. really are great. Thank you so much. Where did your love of music come from? It started when I was three years old when I used to hear my brother playing the piano and I was really eager to see what he's doing. So he used to bang on the door and my parents just thought I was an annoying little kid. So after months of shouting at me, they finally realized it was actually a genuine interest and that's where my mom took the initiative and took me to my first teacher, Mrs. Singh, and I started my formal training then at three. And who were the people who were, forgive the pun, instrumental in your music career? My grandfather was really a creative person, so I think some of that passed down and my grandfather actually used to drive me to all my lessons when I was a kid in preschool. What kind of practice and time goes into learning an instrument? As you progress, as you become more advanced, uh, the time increases exponentially. So I think in my matric year, it was many hours every single day in order to get the piece to perfection. But if you love it, then practice becomes play and I mean, it, it's not a chore. I hear that you used to hold recitals for your family and you used to charge them. I'm also a budding entrepreneur, so I used to charge them, I think, two rand or five rand for every sitting, used to play a piece, and yeah, it was nice to showcase my talent then, so I had fun doing that. Kialin is an accomplished soloist, and music was one of the seven subjects for which he earned a distinction. He's preparing to perform in concert with a full orchestra. So, will this be a step on the path to becoming a professional performer? Can you teach me something to tinkle on the ivories? I can teach you something fun. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, you're gonna just be playing four notes. Okay. So, A flat, G flat, D flat, and C flat. Okay. But in this order, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. And okay. I will tell you when to play it. Okay. So, what fingers do I use? Use whatever works for you. Oh, that, that, that's sweet, that's very sweet. Nice. Who are your favourite composers and musicians? I play all types of music from the Baroque, Classical and Romantic periods and I'll definitely name Chopin, Liszt, Mozart, Bach. Those are the composers I chose to do my exam pieces from. So I really enjoy playing that and the music I listen to on a daily basis is a lot of trap, hip-hop, rap, house. So it's quite disparate, it's a crazy amalgamation but you know it works for me and it's what I enjoy. Would you consider Korean music? No, at this point not really. My other passion lies in artificial intelligence and IT, so I'm going to do a degree in computer science and then hopefully I want to do a master's uh, you know, at one of the top institutions such as MIT or Harvard and then continue from there. I see myself working at Google and HP, not really at the piano, but it'll be definitely something that I'll carry through. Speaking about future plans, let's go chat more about that. While Kialin has taken a gap year after matric, he hasn't opted for an extended holiday and is currently doing an informal internship at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. You've had a very interesting start academically. I mean, you started reading at what age? I think I was two years old, if I remember correctly. Two years old? I get the reaction a lot, yeah. So how long did it take for you to do primary school and high school? That was when I skipped grades, so I went to grade two to five. I was eight years old in grade five, and then I progressed through high school, and then I ended up finishing when I was just 15 years old. What was it like being so young? Initially, it was a bit of a challenge, but then I'm a very adaptable person, so I got used to you know, making friends who are much older and now it's the norm for me. You're taking a gap year this year, but you're not just sitting around. What are you up to? Got a few things going on just to keep me busy. I was selected for the International Physics Olympiad, so I'm busy prepping for that. I'm also trying to learn a few new programming languages. 
I'm busy prepping to play a concerto, keep myself intellectually stimulated until I can go to university. You got seven distinctions at school, if I might add, without trying too hard. What advice do you have for someone who wants to achieve something similar? What's important is, in definitely your matric year, you need to balance everything that's happening in your life. Half of the battle, for me personally, was dealing with everything else that is happening aside from the schoolwork. So I think get your stress levels under control. Otherwise, you know, you will crack under the pressure. And I think, unfortunately, that's a mistake a lot of kids make. They don't take time to, you know, just take a step back and chill for a bit. Thank you so much for chatting. We expect to see only great things coming from you. Thanks so much. But now I want to pick your brain about artificial intelligence. Oh, you sure? <laughs> yes! Oh, I can teach you.